good evening. We at Wycliffe Presbyterian Church welcome you to this, the longest night, a service acknowledging grief and pointing toward hope during this season of Advent and Christmas. It is fitting, friends, that we celebrate Christmas near the time of the winter solstice. As shadows lengthen and nights deepen, we seek the assurance of our faith. In the bleak midwinter of our spiritual journey, we search for the fragile light of hope that flickers against the bitter winds of disappointment and doubt. It is a profound miracle that Christ the King comes to us in the poverty of a stable. To the weathered mangers of our wounded hearts, rough and unfinished, thorny with straws of distress and failure. These are the places that Jesus chooses to be born. He makes his home with beasts of burden, ragged souls cast out with no place of their own, the tattered wayfarers who are forgotten and forsaken. These are his family, the wounded, the weeping, the weary. Today we pray for all who live with the pain of loss and broken dreams, for those who live with hearts bruised by cruelty and indifference. Even as the winter chill reminds us of our old wounds, we also recall that Jesus was wounded and scarred for love. He knows our pain and sees our tears. You are not alone. You are not forgotten. You are treasured. Reading from Wisdom of Ecclesiastes To everything there is a season, and a time to every purpose under the heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to pluck up that which is planted. A time to kill, and a time to heal. A time to break down, and a time to build up, a time to weep, and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to cast away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to get, and a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to cast away, a time to rend, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time to war, and a time of peace. In our darkness, It can't be Christmas without darkness. An angel comes to Joseph in a midnight dream. Magi follow the star in a deep azure sky. Heavenly hosts come to shepherds watching flocks by night. We travel a road of suffering and unknowing, a fearful darkness in which people have stopped believing. But God comes to us in our darkness accompanies us through it, prepares us to begin again. The promise is not that the darkness ends. Suffering does not end. But mystery endures. And the promise remains the Beloved is with us. Fear not, the angel said, for God is here among us. Grace comes in the darkest hour. For God is here among us. And from the darkness, you will see the light return. Fear not. A reading from Matthew, chapter 5, verses 3 through 7. Listen for the word of God. Jesus said, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. 
Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. God of the open window, the star-drenched sky, the gathering dawn. When night is at its deepest, may I know the comfort of home beneath your welcoming wing. Our bodies carry scars, not visible to the naked eye, but they are there, telling the stories our lips hesitate to utter. We hunger for the tender knowing that we are in your image and the assurance that we will be whole. When night is at its deepest, may we know the comfort of home beneath your welcoming wing, so that when day comes to the window, we may gather up our dreams and fly. From the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those living in a land of deep darkness, on them a light has shined. The yoke of their burden and the bar across their shoulders has been broken. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests on his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. If you could see the journey whole, you might never undertake it. You might never dare the first step. Call it one of the mercies of the road that we see it only by stages as it opens before us. There is nothing for it but to go, and by our going take the vows that the pilgrim takes, to be faithful to the next step, to rely on more than the map, to heed the signposts of intuition and dream, to follow the star that only you will recognize, to keep an open eye for the wonders that attend the path. Friends, on this longest night, we are called to be like those who travel, who go on a pilgrimage. We are called to take all of our loss and grief, all of the difficulties of this past year, into ourselves and take it as we follow the journey of the pilgrim, as we go through this longest night, as we go through the remainder of the year, we can keep our memory a gift of grace in this hard time. And maybe, like those wise men of old, we can behold this as something special. Behold that word that appears over a thousand times in the scripture, and it means look and learn. We can behold. And it can call us. It can call us to look up. And so in the midst of our grief, we look up beyond our loss. In our anger, we look up to find another perspective. In our impatience, we look up beyond ourself. In weariness, we look up. And we find something that gives us strength that overpowers exhaustion. This is the longest night. But God is here with us. And indeed there is hope for tomorrow. For God is giving us a hug and a push to look up and move into the future.
Isaiah again tells us, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. Darkness covers the land, but the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Lift up your eyes and look around. The sun will no more be your light by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and God will be your glory. Practice. Practice joy, and you will glow like a star. Practice wonder, and you will shine like a candle in a dark place. Practice compassion, and you will radiate like the sun. And if that is too hard, practice gratitude. Simply practice gratitude. And you will shine with the light of God.